and I'm wondering what is she doing? What is Debbie doing walking down towards the water? I've seen Wanda in the pond plenty of times. Wanda takes little baths in the pond. I haven't seen uh, Debbie in the water. I don't know if she's going down for a drink or if she's going to go down for a swim. You can see that the incline is a little bit tough for her to navigate. That would be really cute if she'd swim across. Now, she may only be going for a drink, but if she did swim across, that'd be just adorable to watch. Now, she could also be fishing. Nope, she's gonna show y'all how deep it is. Sweet girl, I love her. She looks like the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Loch Ness Monster discovered at Longhorn Lusters. <laughs> she's swimming right now. That's deep. Now nah, she's coming up. Sweet baby. You know how smart that is. Now you all can say whatever y'all want to say about how dumb these birds are. They got tiny brains, Lester. They're dumb as a doorknob. Well, guess what? She just found herself a shortcut around this pond instead of going all the way over there and across that spillway. She's like, uh-uh, screw that. I'm a prehistoric bird, dad just said it. And I can swim and do a lot of things for myself. And y'all need to stop talking mess about me. And we do, we need to stop talking mess about her. Oh Lord, here's all the girls gathered around the water cooler. This is never a good thing. When girls gather up around the water cooler, that is never a good thing. <laughs> no, sir. The question is, who are they talking about today? Uh-oh, look out there, doggy. Brutus, you might, might need to look out. Brutus had no idea. Brutus is pissing on tires. He had no idea that there's prehistoric birds about to take him out. Brutus, you have a lot to learn, boy. Don't come by me. Don't come here by me. Uh -uh. I ain't going to mess with you. I'm messing with Christmas and Stella. That's who I'm taking care of right now. I don't have time for no Brutus who's going to piss on my tires. So Bucky's just kicked the heck out of Debbie. She looks like she's fine. I did not get it on video. I hope she's okay. But I come and I begin to put all the feet out like we always do. And uh, she come up over here from behind the trailer where I'm standing now. She come running up. And I don't think that she saw Bucky's and he kicked he kicked right at her and popped her good. And I didn't actually see it. I heard it. I don't know where he hit her at. But uh, I turned around in time to see her jumping out of the way. But I heard the contact. So I am watching her real close. And so the thing is, this is not even the horse's feed. This is where the horses come running up to eat the bird seed. And so that's been a problem I've had for a while, is trying to keep the horses and the birds and the cows. The cows are good. The cows are waiting for their turn. So what I have on the side-by-side, -side, let me go ahead and walk on over. What I have on the side-by-side -side is more of their feeds and I drive out across the pasture and I pour things as I go. But I'll tell you what, that's scary. I don't like that. I, I know that, I know it's just food aggression, but not like Bucky's trying to be mean. It was just, he's sitting there eating. He's already, he's blind in one eye as it is. And what do you know, all of a sudden in the corner of his eye, he caught something behind him and he kicks and ends up being one of our birds who was doing nothing else but just eating. So, I'm gonna keep our eye on Debbie.
our pond is so darn low. We could use, uh, I'm gonna say 10, it, it could go 10 feet, guys, and still be good. Now that's not 10 feet of rain we need. You all know that rain flows to our pond, so I tell you what, a good four or five inches of rain would be great, but not all in the same day. <laughs> four or five inches of rain would be amazing. It would fill our pond up and put it right back where it needs to be. It would wet all of our ground and help grass to grow. I know, you're like, why are you talking? Just put out the feed, mister. Just put out our feed, will you? I do. I have some green alfalfa hay. I'm going to put out a flake for each of them, along with about half a bag of this sweet feed. And uh, don't forget, we still keep dry hay out over on the hill. So, in case you guys are wondering, um, Mama Santiana is still allowing Charlene to eat with her. I always put out five piles of grains, five mounds of grain. Charlene has hers right over there but uh, mom is still allowing her to eat with her. You do remember back whenever Santoro and Jolene were here and we saw both Santana and Pearl start pushing their babies off. Now that was in the heat, of, that was in the heat of the summer. That was in the middle of the drought. That was when these pastures were, were dry. But as of now, Santiana is still allowing Charlene to eat with her. She's not been pushing her off, not been, you know, she's not, she's still allowing her to teat. So that right there is kind of a sign that times are okay. We're not in a bad situation yet. But uh, we do watch for telltale signs. And as of right now, mom is still letting her eat from the teat. She's sharing her grains. She's not forcing her, to, she's not trying to force wean her early. And that's a good, that, that's good. I would say, now I know you may not agree with me. See, that's kind of that's kind of the way mama does right there, kind of pushing her off saying, you know what, go find your own, and her own is right there. Um, I kind of think that my cows are a little bit skinny. Now, that's that probably you may disagree, and that's fine if you do. You may say, Lester, they're longhorns. Lester, it's, you know, conditions are harsh. But I, y'all know me. I just like them fat and juicy. Yeah, I like them fat and juicy. And please don't judge. But I like them fat and juicy. Okay. And uh, they look. They're they're fine. They're fine. But uh, I just like them roly poly. Here comes Brutus. Hey Brutus. Hey buddy, you coming to help Dad? I snuck off on him. He's like, hey, where did you go, man? Where did you go in that machine? And uh, how come we're not riding together like buds? Oh, no, he's messing with white kitty. Uh-uh, Brutus. Kitty, Brutus, we don't mess with kitties. That is a no-no. We love our kitties here. You know, kitty cat, you see her there? She kind of camouflaged in with the bull rock around her. Brutus, that's a no-no. Boy, don't make me get my spanky stick out for something like that. Uh-uh, we love our kitties. Good boy, you sit down and be sweet. This is white kitty, kitty. No, sir, no. That says no means no. Kitty, kitty, let me take you up, kitty. Brutus, no, sir, no. Go ahead, kitty, go on, go on. She can go out to the barn where she'll be safe, but over here, Brutus is like, hey, hey, that's a cat, and I'm a dog, man. I'm a cat, that's a cat, and I'm a dog. And you know about cats and dogs. Kitty, kitty. I can't stand here and watch him the whole time. Kitty, white kitty. So her name is Avalanche and she is hard headed as they come. Now once Wanda gets over here, kitty will be a lot safer because Wanda ain't gonna allow any nonsense from Brutus. Brutus sitting there like a sweet boy. Hey, you come with me, come on. Come on, you come with daddy, come on. You come out here and work. I'm gonna teach you about these longhorns. Let me teach you about these long ones. Now he's upset because I screamed at him. I didn't scream, scream. I just kind of raised my voice a little bit. Yeah, these, uh, Brutus is learning about the farm and the do's and the don'ts. And one thing that we don't do is allow our dogs to be mean to our kitties. We don't like that. Mm -mm, we sure don't. I'm going to drop off some green hay while I'm here. This is the alfalfa. And you can see now that uh, Charlene's like saying, you know what, I'm still hungry, so I better go back and grab that leftover that mama left me. 
and she better. She needs to learn to start doing that. Oh boy. What are you gonna do, Charlie? He can't swim worth a nothing. Y'all need to watch him swim. He dog paddles like a little kid. Come here, buddy, come on. Come on, Charlie, it's not that deep, come on. Watch him swim. Come on, Charlie, come on. Come on across it. <laughs> Charlie can't swim for nothing. Now his brother, Echo, is an amazing swimmer. It's funny how they're from the same litter. Oh my gosh. No one calls y'all. We're not calling all dogs to the pond. All right, let's call all dogs to the pond. Come on, babies, let's go. Come on, little ones. We got dogs all over the barn waiting for me. Come on, Trixie, come on across. Help Charlie. Trixie, swim it, just swim it. Watch uh, Echo here. He will swim across with no problems whatsoever. I have video of Echo and Charlie swimming. <laughs> I made video for Ellie and Megan to show them how good the dogs are doing. Do you need help? Charlie, do you want help? Oh, no. Echo, help him. <whistles> come on, keep coming. You've come that far. Uh, Charlie is actually dog paddling. Echo came across with no problem. Charlie, you big galoot. But I'll tell you this, the Charlie, he got about halfway across and he's like, uh-uh, I might not be able to make it. And then he realized how far across he was, so then he had to swim. Now Echo, he, he can swim. Baby, how come you didn't swim? You can swim so good. You swim with daddy only, huh? She's like, I will swim, but only with my dad. Cause she don't want to swim. She wants me to hold her. How many of y'all women have gone to the beach? with a man but you don't really care to go into the water but you do go into the water because you know he may hold you yeah uh-oh echo come on don't turn around echo swim over here i told y'all how good he could swim and that was not a good example of proper swimming technique right at, at all he looked about as bad as his brother I like to see them play in the water. Now we're gonna have a little bit of an issue. You see, now we got donkeys and birds showing up along with my sweet Trixie. Hey, baby, please don't start kicking over here. Now, once the donkeys show up, that's when you start having animals start moving around. So they had their chance to eat and I hope they got their bellies full because now the entire dynamic's going to change. Now what I can do, if these birds are still hungry, I can put a little bit more of the sweet feed out because birds will eat the sweet feed. They'll also eat the hay. They will, let me do that real fast. All right, what you just saw me do was probably something that's gonna make a lot of you all cringe. You're gonna overfeed them, Lester. I'm not gonna overfeed them. But when they, when they leave their food, and come all the way across the pasture to to eat with the longhorns that tells you they're still hungry they're not they're not full yet and if they're not full i don't want to leave them with you know half half empty bellies so it's no it's really no skin off my teeth to drop them a little bit more grain and i haven't put the green hay out yet but i will i will this does require two hands though all right, so what we got going on now is everybody kind of reshuffling and shifting around. Uh, we got trouble on the horizon in the shape of a black and white horse. Voo, voodoo, voodoo. I have to call him by a different name because otherwise the AIs are going to end up putting a demonetization on my videos. They don't want you to talk about V-O-O-D-O-O -O -O, or they require your video go through a manual review to make sure you're not preaching El Magico Negro. El Magico Negro. Black magic. There. Maybe they won't hear me. But uh, no, they, uh, I told y'all before that whenever I say his name, that's the black and white horse. When I say his name, then all of a sudden everyone gets all crazy. Like, unless what's Lester doing? What's his videos doing? And Facebook will be real fast to shut it down. 
So this is Santana's way of saying, move along. Move along, little bird. That's sad because that little bird is still hungry. As a matter of fact, they're all still hungry. <laughs> Guys, I fed them plenty, okay? Don't worry, these birds are in great shape. And so even though they're walking around like they're still so hungry, they're not. They've gotten plenty to eat. And so what will happen is the way that the bird's mouth is shaped, they will come by long after the long after the longhorns have finished up and you know gone in for the night. The birds will come back. Let me show you here. The birds will come back, and with their beaks, they can pick all that stuff up. They will pick all of that up. So the birds may seem a little sad and lonely now that they don't have enough to eat. But they will come back, and with their little beaks, they can grab all kinds of stuff that the cows and the horses can't get to. Look at this. <laughs> Look, Santana, she's so naughty. She's so darn naughty. Tex, do not break a light. He's like, what else you got back here, Daddy? Oh, is he scratching his eye again? Tex, why do you do stuff? He is scratching his eye on the corner of the side-by-side. -side. Buddy, why do you do that far? So a lot of folks might would say he has flies. It could be fly larvae get up in their eye sockets and uh, lay eggs, and they got to scratch them out. And that could be the case because we've seen every year he does the most bizarre things with his eyes. He's... He has let other cows put their horns in his eyes. Yeah. Oh, you, so many of y'all have seen that video. I know. Don't eat the string, buddy. Tex. Oh, I don't mind sharing the green hay out of the back of the side-by-side, -side, but I don't want him to get a string and caught up in his mouth. These poor birds. Isn't it crazy, though? that your animal, your descendants from the Jurassic era are the lowest on the totem pole around here. Well, you would have never thought that, would you? Now, don't get me wrong. They'll defend themselves against dogs or against anything that comes at them. But when it comes to the pecking order of who's going to eat first, who's going to eat second, who's going to eat third, who's going to, you know, run the show, they are the bottom that's sad to me they've managed to survive so many years and their descendants have you know are still around the largest they're the largest bird right this is the largest bird species but uh here on this ranch they are the bottom of the pecking order and that goes for males and females no matter how ferocious you think carl may be and all if the goats run up or the donkeys run up or anything else, Carl's going to turn and walk away. He's going to yield. He's going to yield to everybody. And that's during feed time. You're saying, but Lester, I've seen Carl jump on your ass. No, Carl will, he will, he can defend his pasture against what he sees as a threat. And he'll defend his lady friends from you know perceived threats but when you put the feet out and all the goats come running the horses the donkeys the cows and and everything else carl will yield he'll turn and he'll walk away and come back when the coast is clear when he can eat in peace so this is debbie here here's the one that got kicked earlier in the video and she seems to be fine i didn't notice a limp i don't notice her breathing hard so i don't know exactly where they're connected but it doesn't appear as though she's in any, you know, life endangering threat or situation. You know what I'm saying. But I'll still keep an eye on her. Here's the thing though. Let's just say, for example, I did notice that she's breathing weird or she's walking weird. You do know there's not much you can do about that. Guys, you don't have vets who are anywhere near your vicinity who would say, yeah, load her up and bring her in. Load her up and bring her in. Baby, don't turn your butt around to me like that. People are going to talk about us. Look how social they are. She has followed me around this entire pasture, want me to love on her. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> I do love you, but I don't have any snacks. I don't. Well, where are you going? 
I thought you wanted some loving. Oh, she just wants a drink of water. She don't want no loving, y'all. She just wants a drink of water, and she might want to go check out whatever I have left over in that side-by-side. -side. That's why she's following me around. <laughs> she sees that Wanda has found something to eat in the back of that side-by-side, -side, and Tina's like, you know what? I'm just going to follow you around and see what I can find. But first, she needs a drink of fresh water. That's Susan. So we have Susan, who's our youngest bird. She's just over a year old. We have Tina, who has a leg injury. She was a rescue. We have Wanda, who has a leg injury, who was a rescue. Now don't forget, t uh, sheesh. Susan was born here. Not here, but she was born at I'm a Survivor. She was one of the eggs that was laid by Debbie and hatched by Carl. And I'm wondering, what is she doing? What is Debbie doing walking down towards the water? Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. Something like that.